right, so I have a quick little game here. I thought I would just do a run through on. It's not a solo game, but it is a game that my family just loves to play. I've introduced it to some friends. It's a really casual, fun game. Very fast, very simple. Um, but there's just, it's, it's an engaging little game. And I thought, well, I might as well. I have a couple minutes. I'll just run through a real quick playthrough of it. Again, it's one that I just haven't seen a lot of gameplay of, and I thought, if you're interested in a fast two, three, four, five person game, maybe Quicks would be something you would want to see. Now, my version, the instructions were in German, but, you know, the internet, it has everything you need. Um, and the only thing that comes in the game, amazingly enough, is dice and a score pad. And that's it. This is the whole game. So you, you could throw it in your bag. I love to take it traveling. If we're going to be waiting a long place for like a restaurant or food or something like that, this is a game that you can easily, highly portable, you know, throw it, throw it in your pocket and go. Um, and it's just dice in, these, in this little pad. I'm going to have to play this upside down, aren't I? Okay, I can do this, right. So the point of this game is to score as many points as possible before time runs out. And everybody gets their own scorecard. And the thing that's interesting about this scorecard is that you mark boxes starting from the left and moving to the right until the row gets locked. And once the row is locked, that colored dice is removed from the game. So, except for the white dice, which are always present in the game, you have these four colored dice that correspond to these four colored rows. And as soon as two rows get locked, the game is over. The other way it is over is if somebody takes four penalty marks. The game will end there too, okay? So how do you mark off boxes? Well, for the red and the yellow, you want to start low and move up. To bigger numbers and the reverse is true for green and blue so when you're rolling your dice you're summing them up looking for certain number combinations and the secret is whenever you mark a box anything to the left is now lost to you all right so if i decide to take a red seven and i mark my red seven i will be ineligible to take the six the five the four the three or the two okay the more boxes you mark the higher your score and there's this nice little scoring grid down here that explains that to you. So if you have one box in a color row, you score one, one point. Two boxes will give you three, three will give you six, seven will give you 28, so it's cumulative, right? So the more you can mark off in a color row, the more points you're gonna score. So you wanna be conservative when you play. You wanna take low numbers first and save your high numbers for later unless you're green or blue, in which case you're looking for high numbers first and you're saving your low numbers forever, all right? To lock a row, you have to have marked off five boxes in that color. So once you mark off five red squares, okay, if you roll a red 12, you can lock it. So you need five boxes and then you're looking for the final number. For blue or green, you need five boxes and then you're looking for a two in order to lock it, all right? And that's pretty much the whole game, okay? The only other thing you have to figure out is how these little dice work. And when you roll on your turn, you roll all of the dice, and the first thing you do is you announce the sum of the white dice. Even if it's not your turn, you're allowed to play the white dice. And what's lovely about this is that it means that if you are not rolling, you're still interested in the game. You're still watching. You still have things to do. This isn't a game where people will stand up and go get a cup of coffee when it's not their turn, okay? They're gonna have to stay at the table and be present and engaged for the game, which is really nice. So for this roll, for instance, I rolled a six. That means everybody else at the table is allowed to claim a six on any color they want, all right? The, weiss, the white dice are a wild color. So you could claim a six here, you could claim a six here. The problem being you're gonna lose all these behind, right? So maybe you don't wanna do that, maybe you wanna pass. If it's not your turn, you're allowed to look at only the white dice, okay? If it is your turn, you have to mark something 
on your score sheet. All right. The first thing you can mark is the white dice. Okay. In this case, I would not like to mark the white dice. I feel like six is too high. So I'm going to start to look at my colored dice. Those are the, my second option of what to mark. And for this, you start to sum it up. Okay. So for example, I could take a blue two, which would really suck, so no thank you. I could take a blue six, again, not so great. So let's move on to the green dice. For the green dice, I can take a green six, meh. Or I could take a green 10. Now, that looks pretty tempting because I'm only losing two boxes, all right? So you go through all the dice, you sum them up. You can take one colored dice plus one white dice, okay? So for example, I can't decide to take a green 10 and a red four. You can't do that, all right? You can take the sum of the white or one colored total. Okay. Now the other option is if you want, if you get the right roll, you can take the sum of the white and then in addition one color total. Okay. And we'll see that as we play through. If it's your turn and you don't like the sum of the white, you don't like the sum of any of the color dice or you can't take them because your card's all jammed up, then you have to go down here and mark one of these minus five boxes. And that's going to penalize you at the end of the game. And anybody who marks four minus five boxes, game over. Okay? So you can decide to voluntarily take a minus five box if you really don't want anything else. You can also be forced to take a minus five box because you actually can't take anything else. All right. So let's, um, let's set this up and play a little bit just, just, just for the fun of it. So I'm just going to take two score sheets here. One, two. And I'm going to just grab two little pens. And just to make my life easier, I'm going to put a purple just to remind me which score sheet I'm using because I sometimes I get a little confused. All right? So we're going to play purple versus orange. We're going to start with orange. So orange is going to lead us off. And all you do on your turn is roll the dice and yell the sum. So I would say five. So at this point, purple, if they want, could take a five, but I'm going to be greedy. It's early game. I'm not going to take it as purple. All right. So orange just feels the same. Orange says, yeah, I'm not so interested in this five. Let's see if I can get a better outcome summing up a colored dice. So for green and blue, I'm looking for really high numbers. And you can see right there that that's going to be a fail. But for red and yellow, I'm looking for really low numbers. And again, I kind of, I'm kind of stuck here, right? Because the lowest number I can get with a red dice is a five as well. But this is a situation where I can take both, all right? You have to take the white dice first. So I'm going to take those white dice and I'm going to make them a red five. I may then sum these two to get a red six. So I've lost two, three, and four, but I've got two back to back, which isn't, which is salvageable. All right. Remember, you have to take these white dice first. You can't take the colored first and then take the white. That's that's one of the restrictions of the game. Okay. All right, purple. Let's do this. Purple ends up with a ten. So let's see, would orange like a ten? So I could start a green or a blue, but like I said, it's early. So let's just wait. Okay. So purple could take that on a green or blue. Let's see what our other choices are. I want to roll high for blue and green. Well, I didn't do that, so I'm not going to look at those dice. And I want to roll low for red and yellow. Wow. So there are no colored dice here. Okay. So I can either take the 10 as either a blue or a green or a minus 5. And I'm not interested in minus 5s. So let's make that just for fun, the blue. We're going to pass it back to orange. Orange rolls an eight. Okay, so now purple could, if they wanted to, take this eight here on blue. You're only skipping the nine. Okay. But like I said, it's early. We'll pass, we'll pass, we're good. Orange, however, could take this eight here and skip seven. But let's see what else is available to us, all right? We want to roll high for green. 
So that one's dead for us. We would want to roll, I don't know, so see again, I could take the wild eight and then take a red nine. That would give me four of the five needed to lock red. Why not? Let's do that. Okay. My other option, of course, would be to start uh, a blue ten. But let's 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 get ahead on red here. So I'm going to start by taking the eight on a red. I'm then going to sum the red dice to take a nine on the red. And I'm run away. Now, in order to lock, remember, I have to have five in a row. So I'm going to have to roll either a 10 or an 11, and then the 12 to lock this row. So it's going to take a little time, but but um, orange is out to a early lead here. All right, purple. Purple rolls an eight. Yeah, not really interested in that. Let's check out. Okay, okay, we got an eight here. Let's see what else we got, though. I need to roll low. And the lowest I would get is a five, so I'm not so interested in that. I need to roll high, and that's not going to happen. Oh, and I've already taken my blue ten. So I guess I'm going to have to take that eight, and I'm going to take it on the blue. All right. All right, little red. Let's see if you can stay lucky, orange. Ooh, a four. A four. Four. Okay, so I would announce the four, and I'm going to throw it out there for purple to take. And here's the thing, if I lock red, if orange locks red, purple is going to be really out of luck. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to take this four as a red, just to get my red started, because I don't want orange to get too far in front of me. Orange, so I can't take this four. Remember, I can't go backwards could start my yellow, okay, and I could then follow it up with a six if I wanted to. The red dice is totally useless to me. The green is too low and the blue is too low. So I'm going to either have to take the four and follow it with the six or just take the four. I think I'm just going to take the four. Just take the four. Ah, he rolls a four. So you see where the problems start to happen. With orange, you can't take the four in red. I can't take the four in yellow. If I was forced to take a four, it would have to be way down here. So we are not interested in that roll. Purple, however, okay, so he could, he could take that yellow four and then swing in with a yellow five. That's not bad, actually. Because my blue is a six, that's kind of far down. Green's a six, that's way far down. Ooh, but red would be a five right behind it. Man, I don't know. Four, five. Okay, I'm going to take the yellow. I'm going to take the yellow. I'm going to be greedy. So I'm going to declare the wilds yellow. I'm going to take my second dice back to back. All right. All right, let's do that. Orange. He rolls a ten. Yay, that's exactly what he wanted. So, okay, so first let's ask Purple. Purple, would you like this 10? You could start it on the green, but I don't think so. So let's go back to orange, because we know orange is totally interested in that, right? He's also got it here, so we could take the 10 down here, too, if we wanted. So the question is, how, how aggressive do you want to play? How greedy do you want to be? The more numbers you fill, the less options you have as the game goes on. So I think we're going to wait. I think we're going to wait. We're just going to take a red 10. This means we are lock ready, right? One, two, three, four, five. We got our five boxes. If I can roll a 12, or if purple rolls a wild 12, I get a lockout red. Okay? So purple, you better start filling in this row right here. A three. Oh dear. All right. If I have to take these wild dice, I'm going to have to take them down here, which would be disastrous, right? So I really need to figure out a nice sum that works. So let's check with our red. We can sum a five. That would be fabulous. I could sum a six. That would be fabulous. And I could sum a seven. That would be fabulous. The problem is I can only take one of these, right? You can only take one colored die. And I am worried about red locking on me. 
So I'm going to try and get some points up here on red. So I'm going to take red five. Okay. All right, orange, you're looking for a 12. You pulled a three. Ouch. Okay. Purple, are you interested in a three? Whoa, are you not? Can't get to those threes, and those are way down here. Orange is in the same predicament. Can't get to these threes, and these are way down here. So we really need something better. All right. So for the yellow, I would have to make a 5, which I can't do. For the red, I need a 12, so I can't do. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. You can pull that 7. We'll pull that blue 7 down there. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong. Whoops. Wrong card. I'm on this card. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So I'm either going to have to take, oh, dear. A green 8 or a blue 8 or a minus 5. Oh dear, this is disastrous for orange. Ah, I don't want to take a minus 5. Okay, okay, I'm going to take the blue. I'm going to take the blue. Only because um, purple started the blue. Oh dear. Okay, sorry orange. That was a bad roll. Okay. Purple. Let's do this. Don't roll with 12. Five. Okay, five. Ooh, yeah, orange will take that five, all right. We'll take that down here. Purple, are you interested in a five? Not really. That would be quite a jump. So let's see what else we've got to play with. Um, all right, a blue seven. I like that. I would love to get along on the reds. I could do a red eight. A yellow eight. So yellow five doesn't help me. Okay, so I'm definitely not interested in the green. Ah, so do I want to jump ahead on the reds? I'm gonna wait on the reds. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that blue seven. Okay. All right, orange, this is where you need your 12. Oh, very close, a 10. All right, purple, you interested in that 10? That would be your 10, no thank you. Orange, are you interested in that 10? Yikes, no, not unless I have to. Okay, so I know the red dice is dead to me. The yellow would pull a seven, that's not bad. The green would pull a six, that's awful. The blue would pull a nine, can't get to it. So my choices are either take a seven or start my greens on tens. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's take the seven. Let's take ah, one, two, so I need one, two, three. Okay, let's take this one. Orange is kind of hurting. Orange is just not getting the rolls here. Okay, purple. A seven. So I could take it there, but you roll a lot of sevens in this game. So I, I'm going to say no thank you. Um, let's see what we got. Whoa, that's crazy high on red, so I'm not interested in him. That would get me one there, maybe. Way too low. And, ah, darn it, I passed both of those on blue. So my choices are either to take a seven. I could do that. <gasps> what about that? What if I take my seven on yellow, wild, and then follow it up with an eight? Look at that, a four down. Awesome. Okay, okay. Okay, orange, you really need that 12. Didn't get it. You rolled a nine. Purple, are you interested in a nine? Oh, yes, you are. So purple, taking the nine as a yellow, is now ready to lock yellow. Oh, orange. Okay, orange, what do you want to do? So I could take the nine here or here. Let's see what my other choices are. All right, so the red dice is dead to me. The green dice is not a good choice. The blue dice is also dead to me. Oh no, you are jammed up, my friend. So I could take, oh, well this is exciting, look at this. I can take my wilds as a nine. I can take my colored dice as a 10, and now I also have five. So whoever locks this row is gonna score the big points, but we're both now neck and neck. Orange, very impressive. Whoops. 
Okay, let's announce an eight. Are you interested in that? An eight. No, thank you. Okay, purple. You have an eight. Ooh, that would be a really bad one to take. Or up here. Let's see what else we can do. My yellows? Nope. Greens? Yeah, not unless I have to. Mm, maybe red? Oh, but definitely blue. Let's just take the blue. Let's make that a six and take that blue. Okay. All right. We're approaching end game here. As you can see, it's a quick little game. Come on, orange. Nope, didn't get it. Announce a seven. Anybody want it? You could take it there. No, thank you. Okay, let's see what else we got. So my reds are dead to me, as are my yellows. Okay, so now we're getting into dangerous territory here. Ugh. Oh. Oh, my blue is also dead to me, so it's going to come down to green. <gasps> Luckily, I rolled a green 11. Thank you very much. I will take that. Okay. All right, purple. I need some 12s. No, that's not going to be it. Let's announce a 6. Are you interested in a 6? Yeah, thank you. All right, purple, what have we got? Well... I could definitely take the six here, okay? So the question is, are there any other colored dice I'm interested in? Be a nine, that's too low. That would be an eight, not eligible. And that would be another six, no thank you. So I'm just gonna take my two whites on red. Call that six. Pass the dice. All right. Ah, still no 12. A lot of sixes, though. Let's announce a five. Are you interested? Oh, yes, we are. Because now we are lock ready on blue. Now we're also looking for twos. Fabulous. Okay, orange. You pulled a five. Yuck. Let's see what else you pulled. We need an 11 or 12 in red. Not going to happen. Whoops, sorry, there's a one. Where'd it go? 11 or 12 in yellow. Not going to happen. Okay, I pulled a nine on green, which isn't bad. And, ooh, wow, okay. Nine on green or a wild five. Let's take that nine on green. Nine on green. Okay. All right, twelves or twos for purple with lock. So, come on, dice. Announce an eight. Are we interested? I think we are. We'll take that eight right there. Purple, you got an eight. You want it? Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's let's look at what we got here. So <laughs> blue dice is dead to me. Green needs to be high. It's getting late in the game. Should I just start green? Yeah, let's wait, let's wait. You have to be at a 10, which you can't. Oh, you rolled an 11. That's way too high. A 9. All right, let's do the back-to-back -back game. I can't believe you caught up, Purple. Okay, so we're going to take a red 8. And then we're going to sum up a red 9. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's ready to lock. We're just not rolling it. Okay, here we go. This is going to happen. Come on, Orange. <gasps> orange did it. Okay. So, this is what's interesting. If orange was to roll a wild 12, okay, pretend this one was a 6, then both teams would be able to lock because it would be a wild, okay? But lucky for orange, he did not. She did not. I did not. Instead, I rolled the color dice. Now, remember, I can only take one of these. As much as I would love to lock both of these rows, I can only take one color dice combo. So, I can either lock... Red or orange, okay. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so it doesn't really matter which one I lock, they're the same. Looking at my competitor, there's no difference. So let's just take the, let's take the um, red. Before I do that, let me just double check. I have an eight, I can't take it. Purple, you get an eight, you don't want it. Okay, great, so we're gonna lock. You take the 12 box, you take the lock symbol as well, okay? And then what you do 
is you get to sum it up. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, and the lockbox counts as well. So seven, all right? So he ended up with, she, it, I ended up with 28 points in red. All right. Purple only got five, so they only get 15. And then what I like to do, just to remind me that this is now over, is draw a line through it. Otherwise, I'm t for some reason, I'm tempted to take the boxes still. I don't know. And this dice is now removed from the game. And you continue to play. All right. With one less dice. Okay, purple, you need to make this happen. And you didn't. A seven. All right. Well, you could take it on green, but that would be very painful. Um, orange is more than willing to take that seven over here. Okay, orange, nicely done. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so I need a 10 or higher on yellow, which isn't going to happen. I need the highest number possible on green, so that would be a 10. That's not bad. And I need a really low, so we're just going to have to start green on a 10. It's nice to keep one row toward the end of the game because then you can always take a number. You don't find yourself in trouble. All right, orange, that was great. Can you do it again? That was the question. Oh my gosh, orange, I'm so impressed. So again, rolled it, not on the wilds, so purple's not eligible to take it. The way I play it, and I don't know if this is like true or not, is I always announce the last wild combo, okay? So that's going to be an eight. And so purple gets a chance to take it. All right, even though the game's going to end. Purple's going to get a chance to take it. As is orange, orange gets a chance to knock out an eight, but cannot. We can, however, take our 12 and lock it. All right, so the game ends here. We've got two locked rows. And the next part is merely finding your total. Okay. So orange ended up with another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, another 28. And purple ended up with another five, 15. So I can tell you right now, pretty sure orange won, but let's just one, two, three, four. That'll get you a 10. Only a one there. Oh my, that was pathetic. And you ended up with a two for a three and a one, two, three, four, five or 15, all right? And I'm not good doing math upside down, sorry about that. So that's 30, 45, 46, 47, 48 points. But a zero here, because we didn't take any negatives, all right? And over here, oh yeah, you can already see. 28 and 28, that's already gonna beat 48. So clearly orange. Orange was victorious in this game. It's a fun game because you got to pay attention to every roll. Are you going to take it or you're not? Are you going to be greedy and fill it up fast, but then get jammed because you're not rolling your lock dice? There's a lot of things to think about. We have so much fun with this game that I actually um, um, sort of did some modifications to it. And what I ended up doing is I took some uh, of the pads because we really went through these pads. I mean, we don't have a lot left here. And I guess you can reorder them. But I thought, well, why do that? I just took them and laminated them. Right? Ram through a laminator. I, 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 packing tape would probably work too. So I have, it's a five person game. So I went ahead and laminated five pads, right? And this is so cool because not only will they fit back in the box here, I went and bought these little dry erase pens and um, I got five different colors. So you can mark them off and then when the game is over, they erase right away. Okay? And what's cool is, these little pens fit in the box like they were made to go in there. And, ooh, hair. If I go back and forth, doo -doo -doo, it leaves enough room to slide in my dice right along the corner. Okay. So I got the whole the whole kit right here in my hot little hands. I mean, you can't you can't beat that, right? Totally reusable, totally redoable. It's quick fun little game. My eight and ten year old play it all the time. I can even get my husband to come to the table and play this one. Um, it's just, it's an easy one to do. And I, I really like the fact that you're engaged, that this is a game where even if it's not your turn, you're paying attention, you're involved, right?
And you'll find that you talk a lot over this game. Oh, you could take it there, you could take it there. What if you sum it that way? You're, for some reason, it's, it's not a crazy competitive game where you don't want to help the other person. Um, at least in my family, you're very comfortable about sh pointing out a better move, right? That someone could take. Fun game. Fun little game. We enjoy it. Thanks.